Mass. Maritime Autonomous Surface Ships. Mass stands for Maritime Autonomous Surface Ships. These are ships that can operate with varying degrees of autonomy, ranging from partial automation to fully autonomous operations without human intervention. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, has defined four levels of autonomy for mass. Degree 1. Crewed ships with automation, ships with automated processes and decision support. Seafarers are on board to operate and control shipboard systems and functions. Some operations may be automated. Degree 2. Remotely operated ships with crew on board, remotely controlled ships with seafarers on board. The ship is controlled and operated from another location, but there are still crew members on board. Degree 3. Remotely operated ships without crew on board, remotely controlled ships without seafarers on board. The ship is operated entirely from a remote location, and there is no crew on board. Degree 4. Fully autonomous ships. Fully autonomous ships. The ship's operating system can make decisions and take actions independently without human intervention. Present status of mass. The development and deployment of mass are still in the early stages, but significant progress has been made in recent years. Several projects and trials are underway globally, with some autonomous ships already in operation, primarily in controlled environments such as harbors, inland waterways, and short sea shipping routes. Yara Birkeland, often cited as the world's first fully electric and autonomous container ship, the Yara Birkeland is designed to transport fertilizers between ports in Norway. It operates at autonomy degree 4 and is expected to reduce emissions and operational costs. Mayflower Autonomous Ship, MAS This, is an autonomous research vessel designed to cross the Atlantic Ocean without a crew. It uses AI and solar energy for navigation and data collection. Kron, a small autonomous vessel developed by Automated Ships LTD and Kongsberg Maritime, designed for offshore energy operations. Falco, a ferry in Finland that has been tested in autonomous mode for short-distance passenger transport. International Regulatory Framework Initiatives for Mass The IMO has identified the need to address the challenges posed by autonomous ships, particularly in terms of safety, security, and environmental protection. Here are the key developments. The IMO initiated a regulatory scoping exercise in 2017 to assess existing IMO instruments, e.g. SOLAS, CALREGS, STCW, and determine how they apply to mass. The exercise identified gaps and areas where new regulations or amendments are needed to accommodate autonomous ships. Interim Guidelines for Mass Trials in 2019, the IMO issued interim guidelines for mass trials to ensure that trials of autonomous ships are conducted safely. These guidelines provide a framework for conducting mass trials, including risk assessments, safety protocols, and reporting requirements. The IMO is working on a mass code, which will be a comprehensive set of regulations specifically for autonomous ships. Leaders in this field the design and construction of mass are being pursued by a wide range of countries, shipyards, and companies, with significant progress being made in Europe, Asia, and North America. Norway, Finland, Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands are among the leaders in this field, with major shipyards like Kongsberg Maritime, Hyundai Heavy Industries, and Damon Shipyards playing key roles. Collaborative projects and government-led initiatives are driving innovation, and we can expect to see more autonomous ships entering operation in the coming years. Challenges and Future Outlook While the technology for autonomous ships is advancing, there are several challenges that need to be addressed before widespread adoption. Regulatory Framework The IMO and other regulatory bodies are still developing guidelines and regulations for the safe operation of autonomous ships. Safety and Security Ensuring the safety of autonomous ships, especially in congested or complex maritime environments, is a major concern. Cybersecurity is also a critical issue. Public acceptance. Gaining public trust in autonomous ships, especially for passenger transport, is essential. Technological limitations. Current AI and sensor technologies need to be further developed to handle all possible maritime scenarios. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to improve the contents.